Hi there, my name is Sajan. I'm one of the technical resources for Dr. 65 Incorporated. And I'm here to speak about tagging multiple files in Microsoft SharePoint. So uh, one major problem that we hear from our customers is that it's pretty difficult and time consuming for tagging multiple files in Microsoft SharePoint. But no, it's not true. And in fact, SharePoint does a fantastic job when you need to edit metadata properties for various files at once. So really excited about this and one of favorite features in Microsoft SharePoint. So let's do it right away. So um, this is uh, one of our SharePoint portals called Doc. Um, this is one of our products. So I'm going to show you the SharePoint feature that we, what I, I would like to discuss for today. So step one, it's uh, loading multiple documents. So I'm just going to take one of the folders here. So yeah, as you see here, it's Doc documents so as a first step let's go ahead and upload a few documents um, there's different ways to do that uh, depends on the kind of SharePoint version that you use uh, what I'm having right now is the O365 or the SharePoint online uh, you can go ahead and upload it from here like you know, click on upload and files or the most sweetest way is to just kind of drag and drop so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull up a lot of files from my folders just directly to the application so if you can see here uh, acts more like OneDrive uh, I have all my files uploaded at one shot right so I have 12 files 12 documents it's being uploaded here and um, so that's it as simple as that so either you go upload it from here or you can dra drag in the files and um, the step two is obviously the tagging multiple documents right so once the upload is done you get this view so you can see here I have the modified view the modified by which user and uh, uh, this is a custom fields that I've created for my sales team so this is the basically the sales portal that I have where I have my um, sales opportunities and the reports and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on quick edit now that makes my life easier right so I click on quick edit and then I get an interface of something like an Excel. So if you can see here, it's a grid view, so similar to what I have in Excel. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna change the status here. Okay, let's let's put it for initial. So I have a drop down that's been created. Uh, probably I'll, I'll let you know how to do a different view, kind of an approach in SharePoint that probably I'll cover it in my next video. So here I have ongoing, ongoing. So I'm just gonna select here all. Yeah. Now where I'm gonna add my tag is nothing but here. So let's say my sales rep is Brian, Brian Smith. And as simple as that, what I can do is I click control and I click here. There's a plus sign that's coming in. I just have to drag it just like Excel that we we have the same uh, native Excel functionality. I'm gonna add Chris, that's our sales rep again. So I'm just gonna drag him here and then that's it, yep. So I just got my tags done, right? The metadata, it's already done. So I can do it for multiple documents, you know, probably I can do that. And then that's it, that's as simple as that I have all my, you know, I've already assigned. I just did. I just did a copy. I just had to copy the metadata values. It's very easy. I just have to put it in the cells, and that's it. It's perfect. So that's all. You all your set. All your documents are tagged in no time, right? So that's that's the whole idea. Um, also, uh, for this classic view or the SharePoint 2013 view, we have a similar, uh, you know, similar concept, but. You know, you just have to go to library and then, you know, go to create view. So it's a bit of a kind of a steps that you need to follow if you're using old SharePoint version like 2013. But it, it follows the same process. You just have to go to library and then click on quick edit and then you'll be able to do it. Also, I have a quick note uh, for, for the users. So probably this is something that you need to follow. Um, please note that the quick edit option does not work for group views, right? The, on, the quick to edit view only works for, I mean, the quick edit option works for only for the non-group view. So let's say I have a group view. Now, if you see here, I have created a group view called opportunities where I'll be able to differentiate my documents in the three different types that's closed, initial and ongoing. 
Now, if you see here, I don't see a quick edit view. It's either grayed out or it's not available. So it's not, it's not there, right? So it's basically, that's one thing uh, you need to keep note of. So that's about the quick edit button. It doesn't show up in the group views. And please use Internet Explorer browser if you're using SharePoint 2010. Uh, if you're trying to do the bulk edit so that's one tip that i would like to share because the data view uh, data sheet view is kind of grayed out if you don't use it so please please make sure to switch to ie uh, when you do a bulk edit of metadata with sharepoint 2010. so that's it from me and thank you and have a great day i'll come up with more and more sharepoint tips stay tuned